why is there such a narrow definition of professional success for artists? Artists are so well qualified to do so many different things. And that brought me eventually in to this world that we call uh, arts and health. It's a growing field. Um, many of the major hospitals around the world have some sort of arts and health program and it's, it's something that I'm excited about. So the presentation today is, is what we've been able to establish in about the last six years at Houston Methodist Hospital. We have music, live music every day, seven days a week by our five staff pianists and seven volunteer pianists. We have developed a, a concert series uh, with about 120 uh, professional performances a year. We also have uh, visual art exhibits three or four times a year that focus primarily on employee engaged uh, photography exhibits uh, as well as some professional work. We're doing also a lot of work with our employees. One of the, the big arenas in healthcare is trying to prevent burnout and trying to build resiliency amongst healthcare professionals. And the arts have been a real solution for that. We do have a lot of extraordinary tools. The, the fMRI is a magnet, and the magnet can sense these uh, electrons um, in, in the oxygenated blood. It can also sense connectivity patterns as well as chemical releases. That's an example of, of, of something uh, that we have as a tool today that we can start to talk about biomarkers. These are oxygenation perfusion profiles of different, different subjects listening to that piece that they have a very strong emotional connection to. Just so you know what it looks like in real time, the, the different areas of the brain that light up, it's a real time response to blood flowing into the areas that are being activated while listening to music. We also have now in our stroke center a clinical study. We're at 10 of 20 patients where the patients that are enrolled in the music part of it, they're listening three times a day, 15 minute sessions, just seeing if that over 90 days accompanying their standard of care with that priming of, of blood, that priming of those areas may aid in recovery. This is an example of um, gait training, relearning how to walk and adding a rhythmic stimulus, but also a chord progression that this, this person was motivational to that particular person. Something about our nervous system entrains with and coordinates, not that it's on the beat all the time, but something about setting up an anticipation of time and an organization of time. We entrain to and, and it coordinates the nervous system in a unique way. The benefit there is that at the, the muscles and tendons are, are experiencing what it's like to walk in a more normal gait and are exercising and being used. So this actually reduces length of stay, which is a big economic driver to reduce length of stay. I'm just going to go to the other spectrum, more of the mental health, the psychological, social, motivational side of the arts that we know is, is also powerful, which is why the arts can touch almost every part of, of this, this hospital. We did develop what we're calling a seven song mood modulation playlist that every patient would develop while they're in the psychiatric clinic. Coordinate with them, motivate with them, and bring them over those seven songs, each tiered song, to their desired mood state. And so we've built what's called a sound dome in our psychiatric clinic, which is a directional, acoustic directional speaker that you can hear right when you're under it. Whenever they're feeling anxious, they can come out and use the sound dome uh, to try to modulate their mood. We have 10 music therapists now. Every one of these music therapists were, was in band in high school. Some of them did a performance major, but then all of them tried to figure things out for two or three years. What can I do to share music and share it in a meaningful way? They would go back for an equivalency degree or a master's degree and then get that training. Nowadays, more, and more people know about it, but one of the things we can do is, is, is make sure that some of those students, maybe before they have to take those few years to figure it out, or at least exposed to this world as an option or an opportunity moving forward. Mm -hmm.